This model of night vision binoculars, easily identified by the layout of the six control buttons and this chevron design imprinted in the top, is probably the most common available. It's manufactured by the thousands in China and branded for sale under many different names, a few of which are listed here. First up, while they look like binoculars, they aren't. The two objectives in front aren't the lenses you look into, but the infrared light source and the lens that looks at the scene. What you look at in here is a single screen. Even though you use both of your eyes, these are really a monocular, not a binocular. Second, while these are labeled as infrared or IR night vision binoculars, they're not the photomultiplier type where if you look at a warm animal against a cool background, the animal looks like it's glowing. Instead, they work just like a cell phone camera, increasing the sensor sensitivity to make dark scenes appear bright. What's different is that the amount of sensitivity increase is much greater in these. Comparing it to a digital camera set at ISO 25000 indicates it has a maximum sensitivity of over 100,000 without excessive graininess, which is nothing less than amazing. Another difference is that the optics and the sensor are made to detect invisible infrared light. In cases where there isn't enough light for the sensor to detect, the infrared flashlight here can be turned on to illuminate the scene, making even the darkest night appear bright and clear. Rotating this ring focuses the image. Holding down this button a few seconds turns it on and off. The menu button here allows you to set a few operating parameters. Now my unit works so well right out of the box, I've never needed to play with any of these. If the image looks grainy, that's because I'm recording a live digital image with another digital camera, which is introducing a lot of pixelization. In person, the image looks a lot better. When pressed with short, quick pushes, this upper left button turns on and increases the strength of the IR flashlight as indicated by the numbers inside the light bulb in the lower left of the view screen. The lower button makes it dimmer. When held down steadily, it increases image magnification, which can be viewed along the right side. The lower button does the same thing in reverse. There's no image stabilization, so that at high power, you'll want to brace them against something solid. Repeatedly pressing, the upper right button cycles through video mode, still image mode, and displaying captured video and images. The button below is the record on and off, take picture, and play control. While the buttons are textured and slightly raised above the top surface, I find them hard to locate in the dark. So I raided my wife's card making supplies and found some peel and stick buttons to make doing so easier. I found prices for these to vary anywhere from $100 to over $200, depending on the brand name, even though they are all the same unit, so it pays to shop around. One last thought. These are also fun for astronomy. While the quality of the optics doesn't permit detailed observing, looking through them greatly increases the number of stars that can be seen, which is great if you're just looking for open clusters or interesting asterisms. Thanks for watching.